Sarah? Sarah? I was just watching her sleeping. She's so beautiful. At least we got something right, didn't we, Jack? Well, we ought to shoot off. The kids are shattered. But Victoria's so comfortable on my knee. Or I could put her on the sofa. Stay another half an hour. I could put her in the spare room. I'd bring her back in the morning, I promise you. She needs her own bed. You know that, Sarah. Her own surroundings when she wakes up. Why don't you come round for tea tomorrow? We'll discuss it all then. Please don't take them home, Jack. I've just got them back. We've done the washing up. We didn't put the pots away because we didn't know everything went. Thanks, boys. Do you fancy staying a bit longer? Well, <clears throat> I'd better get back to the farm, you see, you know, because of harvest and that. Right. Robert? Well, I'm a bit tired and it's, it's all that swimming and drinking. It tires you out. Okay. Well, your mother's coming round for tea tomorrow. Come on, Sarah. Don't let's upset the kids. Are we going home now, Daddy? Yeah, we are, sweetheart. Kiss your mummy night night. Night night, mummy. Sweet dreams, my darling. Calm down, Mum. I can hardly breathe. <sighs> Sorry. Come on, lads. You'll see your mother tomorrow. Please let us stay the night, Jack. I don't want to beg you, but if that's what you want me to do... We'll see you tomorrow, Sarah. You know it's for the best.